Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and we are back with that $79 New Vision tablet that I just reviewed on the main channel at lon.tv, and you can see the full review there of it running Windows, but a lot of people were curious if I could install Linux on it, uh, so I've got Ubuntu running on it right now that I booted up uh, in live CD mode here from this uh, external hard drive. I did have to plug in this little USB hub to get it all working, so unfortunately I cannot charge and do this at the same time, but presumably you could install uh, Linux on the main drive and remove Windows altogether. But as you can see here, the tablet defaults into this screen orientation. So if we want to get it flipped, I've got to go here and uh, flip the screen clockwise. And let's see if this is going to work. So let's cl click the apply button here, working sideways. And a lot of times these things don't actually go into the right orientation, but uh, this looks close. So let's keep this configuration. It looks like the wallpaper just didn't stretch itself out that far, but I think I could load up Firefox here, for example, and uh, get the full screen real estate here. Um, it's going to be a little slow just because we're running through all this stuff here at USB 2.0 speeds, but we can at least, yes, this is fine. Now, here's the problem, though, and this is an issue that comes up on a lot of these little devices. It is not detecting the Wi-Fi. Um, there is Ethernet in this little hub here that I've got, so it is picking up the Ethernet, but uh, the Wi-Fi drivers don't seem to be available anywhere. This is a common issue, uh, but it does look like it did pick up the sound, and it is running at the right uh, resolution. So the lack of Wi-Fi is an issue. The Bluetooth doesn't work either. Uh, the touchscreen is also problematic. It does actually work, but I think the uh, touchscreen is not rotating itself like we just did the screen. So my touches here are not registering properly uh, in the right spot here on the screen. So as I'm tapping this button here, nothing occurs. But I think if I get it in the right spot on the opposite end of the screen, it might actually register the touch. So uh, touchscreen doesn't work, Bluetooth doesn't work, no Wi-Fi, and you probably have to hook up this crazy contraption to get your keyboard working and you can't charge it at the same time. So I am not going to recommend this one at the moment as a Linux running device, but it does sort of run, it's just not going to be all that useful. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporter Cody Falk. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.